Good morning uh, to all of you and thank you for this opportunity to deliver a brief message at this important side event. The Open Working Group's task of preparing a proposal for the Envisage Sustainable Development Goal is a challenging yet heroic undertaking. Heroic in that it has to be inclusive and thoughtful. Challenging because it has to integrate the multiple demands from a broad sustainable development agenda into a few actionable goals that deliver global benefits to humankind. As we embark on the second half of the open working group process, let me start by reflecting on the progress to date. At the third meeting of the OWG, the UNCCD Secretariat issued a policy brief on desertification, land degradation and drought. The policy brief highlighted the LDD impacts on the rural poor and other vulnerable communities. It also highlighted the cost to national economies now and in the future, as well as the potential losses that could be incurred by the private sector. Further, the brief explored ways to reverse land degradation trends within a future sustainable development goal architecture. So why is the land issue vital? First, land and soil underpin the nexus of food and water security, which are the basis for our future resilience and adaptation. But the loss of productive land is undercutting our development efforts. The growing number of extreme climate events is exacerbating the situation and rolling back hard earned development gains. The loss of productive land has in fact become a key driver of global insecurity. It is fueling forced human migration and conflicts over the use of natural resources as well as poverty and income disparities in many parts of the world. Some of the societal disruptions and tragic loss of lives we have witnessed recently stem in part from land degradation and related governance issues. In turn, these have reduced the resilience of families and communities to internal and external shocks. We must also face up to the potential economic cost of unsustainable land use in future. The losses from land degradation are estimated at up to 5% of agricultural GDP and more than double this amount for some developing countries. Land productivities and yield gaps of these magnitudes undermine national development. They put future economic growth as well as social and political stability at risk. This is happening because of our inability to, mo to mobilize political will and sustain investment to shift public policy. It is unacceptable and morally indefensible because we have the knowledge and tools to address the challenges of unsustainable land use and reduce productivity. The solutions at hand do not require major feats of engineering or significant technological advances. They are simple and well known. For instance, ecosystem-based adaptation is supported by the Rio Conventions and many others. It includes the sustainable management of the land, soil, water and biodiversity, which enhances adaptation and the resilience of communities and the ecosystems to economic and climate shocks. So, what should this event and OWG session aim for going forward. We need powerful, 
and effective programs on the ground for delivering the multiple benefits of adaptation, rural poverty reduction, and the protection of biodiversity and water services. The post-2015 development agenda and SDGs could provide the framework for these programs. It is important that they feature desertification and land degradation with a view to address their drivers and to promote their preventive and corrective aspects. Such a framework could have two elements. First element, setting targets that aim to reverse natural resource degradation, specifically on soil, land and water. Second element, ensuring the targets are supported by an integrated indicator framework that reflects positive and corrective actions and that allows us to measure progress. This is critical in order to demonstrate to governments, the business community and other relevant stakeholders the consequences and impacts of their action. The NDGs taught us some important lessons that should inform these processes. Target can, at once, mobilize political will and the resources needed for action and enhance monitoring and reporting capacities. Macro-level targets also catalyze the implementation and mainstreaming of sustainable development in a UN system-wide response while assisting countries to fulfill other multilateral obligations and reporting requirements. The post-2015 development agenda is a unique opportunity to establish a new paradigm in land stewardship in order to regain the health of our environment, societies and economies. But it is imperative for targets and indicators on land and soil to be embedded in the SDGs because they underpin the overarching goals of poverty reduction as well as the food and other security concern. So let us not miss this chance. The stakes are high, but the world cannot afford another 15 years of inaction on land degradation. Thank you, and I wish you success in all your deliberations.